What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Tank B Chopping, aka Tankzilla, and I'm coming at y'all with another haircut tutorial. Today we're gonna be doing a three on top, taper fade, and a beard trim. So I got my black FX, I got my number three guard on there, and I'm going over the top, and I'm evening out all of his hair with the number three guard. So y'all gonna see me going against the grain, just taking off all that hair, knocking all of that hair down. Going over the bottom and the back. Try to get all this hair even, that way we're gonna start the taper. Alright, so now I got my number two guard and I got it open. And I'm just cleaning up the sides a little more. I'm just taking the sides down a little more. Just because his hair is a little thicker on the sides and I want to make sure it looks all even before I start this taper. I don't want the sides to stick out more than the top does. So now I'm taking my, my Babyliss Gold, well my Purple FX and I'm starting that initial guideline with like the half circle. And this is how I do most of my tapers. That way it can stay a little dark when it comes to doing that, uh, the edge up right there by the sideburn. I bottled them out. Now I got my clipper open. And I'm going up about three quarters of an inch. Flicking out slightly. Close the lever as needed to get that line out. So I close it about halfway. And then I close it all the way to knock out that bottom line. And then I just adjust the lever as needed. You know, a little bit of detail work. Now I got my number one guard on there open. And I'm coming up about another three quarters of an inch coming up at that at that diagonal angle <clears throat> close my clipper about halfway tap them dark spots and then close it all the way and try to knock out that bottom line now I got my one and a half guard on there open cleaning up behind the ear you know we don't want that we don't want behind the ear to be super bushy you want to take that down And I'm just, I just adjust my lever as needed right here. So when there's dark spots I still see, I close my lever a little bit, I open it, I close it all the way. And I just go, you know, go through different steps of the lever to make sure I'm taking out them dark spots. Now I got my number two guard on there. And I was taking out the uh, some more darkness in the top of the taper. And now I got my shaver and I'm just, you know, getting that bottom, uh, bottom part super bald. And this is my one and a half guard. I know I have a gold one and a white one. I just alternate between the two. So that's that was a one and a half guard. Now that's my one guard on there again. And I'm just doing some detail work now. So I'm just tapping the spots where I, I, I feel that they're a little dark or that they need to be touched up a little bit. So now I got my clipper open and I'm just, like I said, just you know touching them spots where I feel I need to uh, do some detail work too. And when it comes to detail work, you can be as detailed as needed. You know, some people aren't this detailed, they just go through the steps and that's it. I tend to take a little more, uh, take a little more time detailing it. So now I got my trimmers and I'm lining up in the back, behind the ear, trying not to take that line too far up, but I'm still trying to give it a nice curve. Take off all the excess hairs. Let's go on the other side. Putting my initial bald guideline in with the half circle and you don't have to do the half circle you know you can come straight at a diagonal angle if you'd like but I like to do this like I said I feel it does it looks good when it comes to doing that edge up right there all right so now I got my clipper open and at a diagonal angle I'm coming up about three quarters of an inch Close the uh, clipper halfway and then close it all the way. Now I got my number one guard on there all the way open and I'm doing the same thing. Coming up about three quarters of an inch. You're going to see me close the clipper halfway and then close it all the way. Now I got my one and a half on there open. 
we're going behind the ear cleaning up that area close clipper as needed to get rid of them dark spots starting the edge up right there and I'm just I'm just tapping that line right now just to give them some type of shape you know we don't want to push this this part too far back a lot of people tend to push the edge up really far back I like to keep it as natural as I possibly can but still give a good line sometimes I push it back a little more than other times but uh, for the most part I try to keep it as natural as possible but still so they can see a good line so now I'm starting the edge up I started on the top of the head I mean I started in the middle of the head and I'm just move, moving my way over do a couple taps brush you know take a couple look uh, take a look at it do a couple taps look at it I turn my clipper for this part and I try to give a nice point right there in the corner as you can see it looks like it's coming along pretty good so now I'm gonna start going the opposite way starting right in the middle and I'm moving to the right I'm just giving a couple taps and slightly moving over every time And I've said it once and it won't be the last time you hear me say it, doing edge ups is not the easiest thing. It takes a while to get edge ups, you know, for me at least, it takes a while to get these edge ups nice and crisp. I tend to do a little section at a time, then I gotta look at it, then I gotta tap it again. But that's all right. You know, my hair cutting skills of actually cutting the hair uh, is pretty good. So I get that knocked out pretty quick so I can spend a little more time doing the edge up. And when I do a haircut and beard trim, it takes me about 45 minutes. Really anywhere from like 35 to 50 minutes, but I try to keep it within 45. And now I got my trim and I'm lining up the back of the taper, right behind the ear, making sure I give that good curve, but not pushing it too high into the hairline. Now we're gonna do the back of the taper and I'm starting off with my initial guideline in the middle of the back of the head. And I'm still doing about a half circle, you know, it might not be as much as it was earlier for the side uh, for the side tapers, but I'm still doing the same the same thing. Still got that half circle when I uh, balled them out. And that's just so you can see, you know, the edge up nice and crisp uh, towards the bottom of that taper, but still, you know, still get them balled it out pretty good. So now I got my shaver and I'm just going up right below that line. Now I got my clipper open. I'm coming up about three quarters to an inch, flicking out, following the same line that I did. And then I'm gonna close my clipper halfway. Come right below that and then close my clipper all the way and go right below that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of detail work right here also just so I don't have to do too much towards the end of the cut. I just adjust my lever, like I said, as needed to uh, take out them dark spots. Sometimes you need to do a little more detail than others. Now I got my number one guard on there. I'm coming up about three quarters of an inch. Clipper open, flicking the hair out, and now I'm gonna close my clipper as needed to get out that bottom line. I got my half guard on there and I'm just tapping that bottom line it's still a little dark so I wanted to uh, take care of that and same thing I'm just adjust adjusting the lever when I feel is needed to make sure I still give a nice a nice fade clipper open and this is still just some detail work guys one and a half guard open coming up about half an inch to three quarters of an inch and I'm still flicking the hair out but I'm still keeping that same shape you know that same half circle and I go doing some more detail work I obviously seen something that I didn't like so I feel like it needed to be touched up so I'm doing a little bit of that right now Thank you. 
All right, now I got my number two guard on there. And I have it closed and I'm just hitting them dark spots. Now I got my five guard on there. He wanted to keep his beard pretty long, so I'm just taking off most of this bulk. Turning it up a little bit before I actually start lining them up. Same thing to the other side. Fading this beard in. I got my start with my clipper open and I close it more towards the top of the uh, when it starts meeting the hair. And now I got my one and a half guard on there. Cleaning up the bottom of what I just did. And now I'm actually going with the grain. That way I can fade it into the uh, to the five that I did. So I'm it's almost freehanding. I am just gliding the clipper by his, uh, gliding the clipper across his beard. And now I'm just doing some freehanding. Just clipper open. Now I'm gonna line up the back of the beard and I'm just gonna tap that line, make sure it's straight. And I'm gonna start to line up the top of his beard. And I start by just taking off a little bit at a time. And I wanna make sure it curves, that way it meets the hairline pretty good. This is one of those things you can't really like you can give tutorials on, but you just have to do it over and over and over before you get good at it. A lot of people think they can just watch videos and they're going to get it. I mean, you can, but it is hard. It's one of those things, like I said, where you're going to have to do it over and over and over. You're gonna, and then you're going to understand how to actually do it with the clippers in your hand. All right, so now I'm lining up his mustache. Same thing, just taking a little bit off of the top. Making sure the uh, right above his lip is nice and straight. All the excess hair is off, uh, out of, off of his lip. Cleaning up right above the chin and just making it look good basically. Now I'm just asking him where he wants the bottom of his beard, pointing it out to me. Start with my initial guideline and I'm just moving over to the to my right, trying to make it as straight as possible. Taking off the excess hair. And now he's got half of a crispy beard. To the other side, we got through this side. So I got my clipper open and I begin fading his beard down. Started with the clipper open, closed it as needed, more towards the hairline. Now I got my one and a half guard on there open and I'm closing it as needed. And now I'm going with the grain, guiding it right uh, along his beard, making sure it all fades in nicely. And this is like freehanding with a guard right here. I just wanted to make sure he didn't have no stray hairs poking out. I right, got my trimmers hitting the back of that line, coming straight down, making sure it's straight. Brushing the hair down start on this side of the beard and I'm trying to make this side match up to the other side so I don't want to push it too far down and then he's gonna have a crooked beard so I'm trying to make sure it matches as much as I possibly can and it don't matter how, how, how long it takes you to do it you know to get it right just keep doing it over and over until you get it nice all right, now I'm working on the bottom of his beard, starting in the middle, and I'm just moving to the left now, making sure it matches with the right side of his beard. So everything I did to the other side, I have to do this side, so I'm just trying to make sure everything matches, and sometimes this is the hard part. Like it's, it's easy to make one side look good and make the other side look good, but do they look good together? So you got to make sure you're looking at the guy or you're looking at your client straight on. That way you can see how everything falls into place. There has been times when I first started cutting and I just didn't give someone a straight beard, but obviously I got better through time. All right, so now I'm taking the razor, lining up the back of his uh, taper. Uh, as you've seen, he has shaving cream on there. I wiped them off, and now I'm just hitting that with the hitting the lineup with the razor, keeping the blade flat, stretching the skin, making sure I'm getting all those excess hairs off. 
Get him behind the ear. Now I got him leaned back on the headrest. Face and forehead and beard, everything's just ready for shaving. Got the hot towel on there. So now I actually do have the Vibe FX and I use that on all my clients who get a beard. But I didn't have it at the time of this video, so I'm just, you know, letting that hot towel do its thing, open up the pores, make the hair a little softer, that way I can shave it a little easier. Start off with the neck area. And I'm still making sure I'm stretching that skin. Making sure you keep the skin nice and tight so you don't nick them. And now I'm doing the opposite side of his neck. Can't really see, but yep, that's what's going on. And now I'm just doing the top of his beard. And you want, as you can see, I'm stretching his skin. I mean, you can probably barely see it, but yeah, I'm just stretching his skin. That way, you know, you gotta make sure it's tight so you don't nick the line. And I'm just going over all that hair for the edge up. Getting right there by the chin area. Getting the mustache area. And now we're gonna do the other side, same thing. Starting with the top of the beard. Getting off all that excess hair. Just following that line. So I'm just trying to make sure this side matches up with the other side. Getting off all the excess hair. Make sure his beard looks nice and crisp. Get the edge up. Get the forehead. Basically, that's the cut. That's it. it. Looked pretty fast. I know it took me about 35, 45 minutes, but man, when you speed it up, it does wonders, huh? <laughs> yeah, but this is the cut. A taper fade. Beard trim. Nice edge up. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the cut in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And yeah, until next time, YouTube, I appreciate y'all.